What's up guys, I'm Carl and all a brand new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this 2011 BMW X5M. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. For sneak peeks, behind the scenes, short water reviews and much more. Remember to go follow my new Instagram and TikTok account, I promise you'll not regret it. So let's move on to the front of this Beamer. So as you can see, the front of this car looks very aggressive. If you get your chrome kidney grill over here, this car will look even more aggressive with the black kidney grill. If you have your halogen angel eyes and that just makes the car look so aggressive especially with this alpino white paint i really love the way this car looks like you do not get spotlights in this version the x5ms do not have spotlights like the regular x5s but something that the regular x5s don't have is fake grows this one does not have any fake grows anyway this car is not made for looks it is made for function you do have your front parking sensors over here and this car is pretty low on the ground as you can see by your very nice splitter over here you also do have your nice m lines over here which look very nice so let me show you how the lights look like on this car this is the normal daytime running lights the park lights the headlights the brights The indicators with the lights and the indicators without the lights. So as you can see, those lights look very, very nice. They are also very bright as these are LED lights. Yes, LED lights for 2011 car. Also, something very cool is that BMs do is that you, this also comes out to clean up your headlights. So talking about the body lines in the front over here. If you have your very nice body line over here on your traditional iconic body line on the bonnet and then the bonnet body line carries on over here and onto the headlights and then disappears smoothly that is very good attention to detail i really like how much attention to detail they have put into this car which makes so aggressive looking so let me move on to the specs of this beamer so as you can see, BMI went wild on the presentation on this car. You do have the M colors all over with the M badge. So this car has a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbocharged engine. 
is the S63 B44 engine from BMW. This car produces 555 brake horsepower or 408 kilowatts. Now this car produces 680 newton meters of torque, which is by far the most powerful car I've reviewed. This car goes 0 to 100 grams in 4.7 seconds, which is a staggering number for an SUV at this size. This car's top speed is limited to 250 kilometers or 155 miles. Now this car is all-wheel drive, the X-Drive from BMW, and this car weighs 2.3 tons or 4,600 pounds. This car is not very economical, because this car has about 20 liters per hundred pounds on the city and 12 liters per hundred pounds on the highway. But that depends how you drive it. If you start pushing the car and driving it how, how it should, this car will go 30 liters per hundred kilometers, so be prepared for that. This car comes with a 6-speed automatic DCT transmission and this car retails at $29,500 in America, $428,000 in South Africa and in Europe, €24,800. So this car is also not very cheap for a 2012 car. So should you buy this car? Wait until the further part of your so you can see this car is worth your hard-earned money. So it's the back of this BMW X5M and as you can see, it does not look like the regular X5. One of the main reasons is because of the four exhaust tips this car has. This car also has valves controlling the exhaust. So you do have smash and grab tinted windows, a very beautiful looking back. It looks very aggressive with these exhausts and you do have your parking sensors. So let me show you how the lights look like on this car. So this is the normal daytime running lights, the tail lights, the fog lights, the brake lights with the lights, the hazards with the lights, the brake lights without the lights, and the hazards without the lights, and of course the reverse lights. So as you can see, those lights look pretty nice. We also do have a very nice spoiler over here. So let's open up the boot of this car. And this boot is electronically operated. It is a split gate boot, as you can see. And you do have plenty of storage in this car. You do have a spare wheel, which is pretty interesting to find in a BMW. Spare wheel, your triangle, wheel spanner, jack everything you need in the car and of course you do have storage so quality at the back over here is plastic but the carpet in here is very good quality for the boots so i'm going to move on to the interior of this bmw x5 m so this is the interior of this bmw x5 m as you can see it's such a sporty interior for an suv so this is the center console of this car and as you can see you greet with the iDrive screen two ac vents do you have your dual climate and dual air circulation climate you do have your very nice radio switch and then you do have some more buttons over there which is for your parking sensors trash control off for your heel down assist and for your boots opening so this is the other part of the center console and as you can see you do get your very nice cigarette lighter a cup holder you do have your i drive switch you do have your very nice gear switch with your m your edc button which is electronic damping control electronic parking brake and a very nice leather hand wrist armrest so then this is inside the armrest as you can see you have your aux and usb ports you do have your ipod ports and yeah it's pretty cool so this is a future that 99 percent of owners do not know if you hover your finger over the button not even pressing it you can see what you have assigned that button for what shortcut you assign it which is pretty cool so now another thing that this car is not like the regular x5 is this bit over here because you're expected to go in the track with this car and instead of you putting your foot on the cold steel aluminium you're gonna put in a nice leather over here this is something that the regular x5 does not have so then this is the driver's side as you can see he does get two 
unlock odometer with the M, you do have your very nice leather steering wheel. This is a Napa leather steering wheel. It feels amazing. It, it also very breathable. You do have your paddle shifters in metal, your traditional BMW stalks, and yeah. So now something cool about this is you do get your M button, and attention to detail is that you do get your M color stitching all around the steering wheel. This is very cool. So then this is the other part of the driver's side. As you can see, you do get two air vent to get your automatic light switch and your heads up display switch yes a heads up display and this isn't just a regular heads up display this is how this heads up display looks like this car is made for high performance there's a blank switch because this car does not have spot lights because the x5 m's do not have spot lights so this is the door con this is the door panel of this car as you can see you, ha you have soft touch on top aluminium trim over there some more leather over here with your speaker full electric windows electric mirrors and then you have some more storage over there so the mirrors they are you can also close them as you can see as you can see you can close the mirrors so then this is the passenger side as you can see you do have a very nice looking there you do have two ac vents like the driver your nice trim over here and some more soft touch down there so then this is your cubby over there as you can see it is very deep and then you do have your dvd so like for six dvds you can play on this screen over here which is pretty nice so talking about the seats in here they are pretty comfortable they are the sport seats and they are electronically operated even the headrest over here so now talking about the quality in this car it is pretty nice soft touch everywhere leather seats leather over here leather steering wheel leather everywhere and it is an option to have a napa leather dashboard this one does not have a napa leather dashboard it just has a soft touch dashboard so now this car is surrounded with m logos everywhere the steering wheel odometer gear shift headrests you name it the mag wheels the front the back <laughs> the side everywhere it has the m log and especially the gear shifter you need to know that this is an m this is not a regular x5 this is the m it's just like saying an m3 is the same as a 335i which is definitely not true so i'm going to move on to the back of this car So this is the back of this X5M and as you heard, this car does have soft closing doors. So that is pretty nice. So right at the back, you can see that you have your curtains, your privacy curtains. So this is the center console for the rear passengers. As you can see, you have two AC vents, two cigarette lights and a huge bit of storage. There is an option where you can have a nice TV over here for the center console. So then as you can see, this is the other part of the center console. As you can see, you do have a nice cup holder over here, nice armrest, and it smells amazing because it's of the leather. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is where the seat is, the rear seat. As you can see, you have a nice leather pouch. And this is the door panel for the rear passengers. As you can see, you have the same trim. You do have two speakers. Per panel you do have a nice handle over here electric windows and some more storage so seats in here are nice and comfy and talking about the quality in here soft touch everywhere no hard plastic to be found except over here this is even soft touch this is not plastic this bit over here but yeah this is very nice especially with these curtains as you can see we can also put them down I kind of prefer them up looks more unique Oops. looks more unique and especially you can drive with your privacy curtain open like that which is pretty nice so I'm gonna move on to the side of this x5m and before I do that you also do have a nice light over here and a reading light over there which is also pretty nice so this is the side of this BMW x5m and as you can see it looks really nice especially with the black over here the piano black I really like how this car looks like so you do have color-coded handles with your keyless go and they have lights underneath them like the BMW 7 series 
We do have all these body lines over here. And something that the normal standard X5 does not have is this over here. So this is widened over here to accommodate the beefy 20 inch low profile alloy mags with your ventilated discs and also to accommodate that big V8 engine. We do have color coded mirrors over here. We have smash and grab tinted windows over here with your curtains inside and your very nice roof rack which is the piano black roof rack which looks pretty nice. So these are very nice mags. They are very nice and shiny. They're not chrome, they're like black and shiny. Looks very beautiful in my opinion. So this body line over here comes from this tail light and carries all the way on to over here. Then you do have your M badging with your inner case. If you want to see how the standard X5 looks like, I made the review of the BMI X53 to DE70 back in February. If you want to see it, go check out that review. You'll see what a difference this car is. So my opinion on this car is I think this is a great weekend car. This car really can put a smile on your face even if you're having the worst day possible. Hearing that V8 growl to life, just growl just makes it such a great car. So I'm gonna leave the Yankowsk on the screen so you can see the scores that I gave this car. So for the daily scores, I gave this car nine for futures, seven for comfort, eight for quality, nine for practicality, and seven for value, which went to out of 40 out of 50 for the daily scores. Now for the weekend scores, I gave this car eight for styling, seven for acceleration, eight for handling, 10 for fun factor and 10 for cool factor which brings a total of 43 out of 50 for the weekend scores so the Toyota Ankawa score for this car is a well deserved 83 out of 100. So if I say to this part of the video thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did remember to smash the subscribe button like button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upcoming review like this. What do you think of this car? Please can you let me know down in the comment section below and thank you so much for letting me reach 500 subscribers i am halfway there to my goal 1000 subscribers by the end of this year is my goal so have a great day as always and i'll see you in my next video goodbye so as you can see this front of this car looks so aggressive this car looks very aggressive with its chrome kidney grill away